Okay, everybody, you just practice your boxer squat. Really important, we need to make sure you get some stretches done because we did activate the quads, the glutes, and the hamstrings, and of course the calves as per usual. So you're gonna find a vertical surface, like a wall or a pillar, just like this. On the left side, grab the laces of your shoes. You wanna put your knees together so that they're the same level, so it's not too far back, not too far forward, right on here. Then you're gonna actually push the hip forward, and then you're gonna squeeze your left butt cheek, and you're gonna notice that the stretch goes very deep into the center of your quadricep, which is very good, because it's gonna to help to open up the hip and prevent cramping later. So you're gonna hold this here for about 15, maybe 20 seconds. Just have the intention pushing that hip forward, relaxing the quads, relaxing the glutes on the backside. Holding just like that. Fantastic. Okay, so on this side again, now we're gonna stretch the calves. You're gonna do a straight leg stretch keeping the back leg nice and straight, leaning into the wall, pushing your heel down, just like so. And again, holding this here for a few seconds. You're gonna feel this stretch just below the knee, right in here, right? Good, let a lot of that tension out. Nice and easy. Good, and you're gonna, you're gonna take the tension off that side, you're gonna keep on the same leg, you're just gonna bring it a little closer to the wall, and you're gonna bend your knee. You're gonna do the same thing, you're gonna lean into the wall and push the heel down. What you'll find now is that the stretch is gonna go further down towards your ankle. Okay, you're just gonna hold that again for a few seconds. Mm -hmm. Again, letting the tension go. This will help to uh, prevent any residual pain or sort of aches and stuff from, from when you start doing your jump rope training or even your calisthenic training. Okay, you're gonna let that one go. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually grab the top of the foot and pull it over just like this. It's almost as if you're dragging your toe across the ground, but you're not gonna obviously drag it. You don't wanna create too much friction, but you get in here and just push. And what we're trying to do is gonna get the nice ligament structure that goes all the way up the front side of the shin there. And we're just gonna hold that guy. Just relax. Now it does go to a bit of an angle, so you wanna make sure that the weight is on your front foot. So you can just sort of just gently press a little bit of weight on here. You don't wanna put all of your weight on the backside though. Nice and easy. Fantastic. Now, all those stretches you're gonna perform on the other side as well for the exact same amount of time. We're gonna skip ahead to the hamstring stretch. We call this the Jefferson Curl. We're just gonna lead with the chin all the way down the ground. You're not really pushing the stretch, like you're not trying to reach, you're just trying to let gravity take over and help you out. So as you lean forward, keep your chin down, keep your quads tight, and just allow gravity to pull you down. Nice and easy. And as you get lower and lower, still keeping the quads tight. It helps to stretch out the hamstrings to keep the quads tight because it locks out your knees. And just let the body pull you down, or let gravity pull you down, I should say. <sighs> nice big breaths. And make sure that you're actually making sound when you're breathing. It's gonna help to help relax your body by using your diaphragm more. It signals all the, all the muscles in your back to relax and let the stretch happen. <sighs> nice, easy stretch. <sighs> nice and relaxing. This is also good too if you ever have any residual back pain from sitting too long. It really helps to stretch out the lower back area here. All right. Okay, now as we come up, we're going to start by squeezing the quads. Pull yourself up nice and easy. Still keeping your chin tucked. Now as my hands come across my knees, I'm actually going to squeeze my butt. Squeeze those glutes. Stand all the way up. <sighs> there. I feel much better letting that go. So guys, that's great aftercare for any of these uh, workouts that we do, especially when we start incorporating squats and lunges into our jump rope. All right, guys, until next time.